always into it today. As we fade in, you're always laughing. Every still of you is like. You want to hear a joke? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a happy person. You're a happy son Why of a bitch. Why do you think the gals flock to me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. Especially after I, look, I took a shower. That's right. You look uh, scrubbed today. and uh, I went in at 12.58. I set a record. What's the old joke? What's his name? Uh, the comedian, he says, he, he's half bald like me. He always bent down. He says, never let your mom brush your hair when she's mad at your dad. Gallagher, that's who it was. It was Gall Remember Gallagher, Gallagher, the guy with the, that's with, pretty the good. with the watermelon? Yeah. Never yeah. let your mom yeah. push oh, her God, hair yeah. for death. Yeah, people don't give him enough credit, but he's quite funny. A saint. Now, maybe I'm just a guy, but Carrot Top can be funny, too. Somebody can oh, yeah, make fun of him. He's actually quite funny. Some of the silly stuff makes me laugh, too. I was, I was, that's why I mentioned that movie the other day, Tag. And if you're looking for something completely stupid to watch, and uh, it's it tends to be guy humor too. But if you want to watch something completely ridiculous, I suggest Tag. But I've got other things to talk about today. Is I'll it on Netflix? For... Is it on Netflix? Oh yeah, yeah, it's out there somewhere. It's on. It's on. Well, Netflix. I watched Airplane last night, so there you go. Oh, yeah, but you're the type who will watch things over and over again. I think well, you do be... that, don't you? But there were three movies I will watch continually, not continually, but repeatedly. Uh, Holy Grail, for sure. Yeah. Blazing Saddles. And two, strangely enough, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah. I'm with yeah. you on Blazing Saddles and Holy Grail. That's for sure. But yeah. Airplane is just, it's so stupid. Yeah. Uh, when Robert Hayes turns to the camera and says, what a pisser. I, I, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. But my favorite is from Blazing Saddles, of course, David Huddleston, who was the mayor of, uh, of, of was it Rock? What was it, Rockwood? Yeah, just, um, um, oh, damn. Anyway, never mind that Rock, shit. Rock Ridge. Rock yeah. Ridge. Rock Ridge. Never mind that shit. Here comes Mongo. It's yeah. my favorite line from yeah. the entire movie. That's right. Blow yeah. it out your ass, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> he just died a little while ago. Very, very yeah. good character actor. Huddleston died, I believe, late last year. He was in his late 80s. Very funny. And the other one that just throws me on the floor, um, her name escapes me now, but it was Dom DeLuise's wife. Oh, the school played, marm. Played the school marm who reads the letter, of course, to uh, Governor Lepetamain and calls him the biggest asshole west of the Pecos. And I'm on the floor. Or, uh, yeah, and of course, everything has like I had to look up lapetamine when I first saw it. I didn't know what the hell it meant. Uh, and he just, and doing the French mistake. I didn't yes. know what the, I never heard of the French mistake. I thought it was ordering the wrong thing in Paris. You know? Oh, that's worth watching again for sure. Yeah. Anyway, I've got stuff on my screen, but if you have you got a list of things today or a, well, I just want to mention that this is luncheon date with Elwood Glover. Yes. Which will be followed by Take 30. Oh, my. Another name for the past. Paul Souls. Paul Souls. Very nice I, man. He filled in for me on Home Run once. I know. Time. I was doing traffic in those days. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yes. Very nice man. And uh, had a very nice chat with Paul. He was very much the professional and uh, very funny. Very, prof very, very good at what he does, too. So Yeah. And, of Paul course, Stone, the huh? future governor general, Adrian Clarkson. Oh, yes, that's right, too. Anyway, let me get on to, uh, I've got a rant here and other things to get on with, so I might as well do it now. Okay, but it's not, it's, it's not going to be politics. It's not going to be uh, COVID-19. Uh, no, it's going to oh, be. the IOC. Okay. It's going to be Thomas Bach, the president of the International Olympic Committee. He's an idiot. It's official. Uh, they asked him, why were you dilly-dallying before canceling things? He said, well, I actually believe what Donald Trump was saying, that things would blow over in two weeks or so. So it's official. Thomas Bach is an ass clown. And yeah, that's that's worth mentioning. Uh, that, that That is okay. just the okay. people actually believe Trump. His yeah. his yeah. Um, His popularity has not waned. Are there enough? No, that's frightening. Are there enough feeble-minded people out there? Half the population of the U.S. 
Uh, and yes, Trump is as popular now as he was before this shitstorm came along. So we don't need Thomas Bach sitting on his fat German ass telling people, <laughs> I was expecting things. I was listening to what Donald J. Trump was saying. It's going to get better in a couple of weeks. Get the hell out of there, Mr. Yeah. Bach. Well, of course, a, a, a couple of people in Phoenix, Arizona, died from taking the stuff he said you should take, which is actually to be used yep. for lupus. Yep. I can't remember the, the name of the stuff. It even started on Trump. I'm just but, dumping it. Well, I mean, and people have died, but this guy still believes yeah. him. Yeah, and let's. I'm, I'm not. Trump is is. That's a whole other thing. I'm dumping on a guy who should otherwise be much more yeah. intelligent than he is. So, bye bye. And actually, I'm hearing of late now as we're recording this that his ass is grass. So, bye-bye. Oh, the Zane, you idiot. Now, if you're still in the sports, uh, I'm pleased to announce to you, David, that the International Cricket Committee, or whatever the hell it is, is opening its archives. So you'll be able to hear and watch cricket games to your to your heart's content. Well, when I was in Britain in 1983 uh, on one of the many BBC radio stations as we were driving through the countryside, uh, they were uh, they were playing cricket, but it was on radio. If I can imagine anything more boring, well, uh, well, you might as well read the telephone book, anything more boring than baseball on radio, which I loved. It's cricket. I, and these things go on for hours, right? For, cricket for, matches for can days. go on for days. Yeah. I like listening to trick to, to not to trick it, but to cricket on the radio because it's like music to me. It's like, <laughs> and he's come up, and he's, he's got his stick now. And he's, and, oh, he's bowling! It. Oh, oh my God, he's bowling! He has bowled and take, <sighs> and it goes on. Thousands and on. upon thousands of people watching him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, a quick little plug for a local business. Darts on radio. Darts on radio. Starts on radio. Look, quick local plug for a local business that we ordered from recent days. It's his Anatol. They sell spices. They're on the main. They've been in business for 70 years. I used to shop there in person when I lived downtown. Again, if you're into cooking or if you're sort of rediscovering your recipe books now in the midst of all this lockdown and you're looking for spices, something fresh and delivered from a, a um, credible, uh, not a credible, but a reliable source, Anatol, A-N-A-T-O-L. You'll find them on the web. They're very, very nice folks. And I went to pick up a shipment yesterday. Uh, we have a communal uh, mailbox system where I live. So I walked down the street, and the entire box smelled of cardamom and cinnamon and cumin. Oh, it must have been lovely. Yeah, did they, did lo they ship it by uh, Canada Post? By Canada had... Post, yes. Yeah. So another thumbs up to the folks at Canada Post. They're doing their job. They're working very hard. They're asking people, literally, and I'm not making light of this, to stay away from the mail carriers. Just wave at them as they come by and do their jobs and thank them because they're working hard to get all this stuff out to you and me. So thumbs up to them. Quick little note. I was trying to ah. I was trying to bootleg another uh, episode of Brockmire for you. Yep. Uh, but uh, to those, if you are a Crave subscriber and have been trying to log in via your PC, it does not work if you're with Videotron. Uh, and I'll show you in just a second here uh, what happens. And it's not, it's not you, it's them. Uh, when you try to the login for Videotron, you'll get this turning little circle in the background. It's not connecting. Now, folks at Bell Media and Videotron are working very hard with Skeleton Crews. Uh, they're doing their best to get things back up and running, but uh, PC connections don't work. However, uh, connections via iPad and um, Android phone function properly. So, well, wait a minute. Now, can you can you not? Can I not? Hung up on you. Didn't mean to hang up on you. Sorry. Oh, did you? You, got, you got it. You got upset at the uh, at, at at the IOC. Uh, wrap up quickly again no the uh um you can log in via your phone or your ipad for crave but uh, if you're trying from a pc a windows pc it is inoperative until further notice so there you go okay now see i'm running out of it because it's getting as expensive as cable i have britbox acorn which feature british television which is great and i also have netflix so it's starting to get to be you know, every nine or ten bucks is starting to add up. Yep. So I, I gather Crave is another seven or eight, but they feature HBO stuff in Canada, do they not? They do. Yes. HBO is pretty pricey. Um, uh, yeah, it depends. 
yeah, go ahead. Please, no, please continue. No, it depends. No, no, on no because I was going to change the subject back to something when you were talking about Anatol. I gather they they feature Turkish Ottoman stuff too. I mean, all kinds of everything. Anatol. Everything. Go to their yeah. website, and it's it's not expensive because they, relatively speaking, because they they sell in relatively small amounts. You're not stuck purchasing, uh, mm -hmm. and everything comes individually bagged and everything and and uh, labeled, and it's it's absolutely delightful. So, because you are a maestro with pots and pans. Uh, not so much. Well, I, I do like to cook, but my spouse is way into it much more than I am. So the, the recipe books, she's upstairs making lasagna as we speak. So Wonderful. Yes. Meat or spinach? It is a, this is a meat version, yes. Well, boy, you guys are eating well, aren't you? Well, I, we, we, we'd like to. I ordered from uh, Burkici in, uh, in Montreal in, um, where are they? Uh, my, our favorite... Dry pasta here is a brand called Divella from from Italy, and there were a few, mm -hmm. there were several uh, retailers that sell it. But I found it online the other day, so I ordered from Brichici. You might know who that is, out in Saint Leonard, Italian. Well, person. speaking of pasta, uh, we got our Lufa order. They still yes. seem to be delivering right away. You said they're they're starting to have trouble delivering because of um, God. The sun just came. Oh, out. No. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not speaking on behalf of the company. I got an email from them. I'm on the client too, but they've had to make some adjustments. So you'll have to check on your own, but I'm not, uh, not speaking. Yeah, my, uh, my wife does the ordering and uh, she found out, they, they sent her probably the email you got from Lufa. Um, and uh, just to mention idiots, just quickly, because I can't resist this one. Oh, beautiful. That's Perkichi. Perkichi. I, I think I'm, I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, Italian store. They're on Couture Street. I think it's it's in um, Saint Leonard, uh, and they sell lovely little things, oil and tomatoes, and and they and, deliver. They deliver by a Canpar. Uh, I mentioned our Canpar driver a couple of days ago. Nice guy. So uh, another little plug for a local business. There you go. And that famous Italian food, Nutella. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it, they can't keep it in stock these days, and it's like peanut butter. Just flies off. I, I have I have friends, uh, Aussies, uh, uh, who just they swear by it. They they can't. It's one of their dirty little pleasures, and they uh, they don't mind talking about it. Uh, you mentioned the IOC chairman being an idiot. Well, uh, no, of course he's not the an G. Idiot. He's a friggin' idiot. <laughs> That's what okay. I'm saying. He's a Let's friggin call idiot. a friggin' idiot a friggin' who idiot. Was, who, who was doing stand up and uh, he was doing a bit on? What are you an idiot? What are you an idiot? <laughs> yeah, how do you answer that question? <laughs> Thomas Sounds Black. like Lewis Black. Right. It's, um, it's but the like G7 Robert, could... Robert Klein's, Robert Klein's two-word jokes. Dean Rusk. <laughs> yes, that's right. Thomas Bach. You don't have to do a setup. <laughs> that's the whole thing. The punchline and the joke. Thomas Dean Bach. Rusk. Dipshit. Uh, the G7 failed to come up with a unified statement about the COVID-19 uh, because Mike Pompeo insisted on calling it the Wuhan flu. The Wuhan, oh. they said, no, yeah. At least he didn't call it the Wuhan clan. But uh, <laughs> Chinese Americans have been spat upon yes. and attacked in yep. the street. Yep. Please, it's folks, happened. would you it's get your here. shit together? It's happened here in Vancouver. It's happened elsewhere, too, where there were large uh, Chinese-Canadian uh, populations. And uh, I was reading... Uh, that is just awful. Yeah, and uh, Chinese uh, Canadians in BC and Vancouver, there's a large population there, as you know. Many of them are dentists and other professionals, and they're gathering together uh, all of their emergency care and urgent care products and shipping them off to hospitals and things. They were doing it, uh, sending stuff to Wuhan for a while. Now they're reversing it and doing that. And uh, Trudeau had a good answer today because, as you may have heard, uh, Canada sent 16 tons of supplies to China uh, a few weeks ago, and he was asked about that. And he, he said, it's a world problem. we got to stick together in this whole thing. And uh, so there you go. Little or no traction on that story, which is very good. People are being very uh, understanding about this whole thing. So. For the most part. And we know the Chinese, while, while Trump talks his idiocy and, and is going to line up soldiers on the 49th parallel, uh, we know that China is sending ventilators and masks and yep. things to Italy, Spain, yep. Cuba. Cuba has sent doctors to mm -hmm. Italy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. This is one of the poorest countries in the world. Whatever you think of the human rights going on. These are people who are acting like adults. And I just, I know we want to make it a Trump free zone, but this is beyond just whinging and, 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 and complaining about it. He is the problem. He is the he is killing people, and he this is, a, is yeah. you know we're all in danger because of this moron. He is a virus, and I even go further than that. What I scream after I've had a, a drink here in the evening is that he's a war criminal. Definitely, people have died because yeah. of the misinformation he's put. He is he's Dick Cheney. Yep, yeah. this is what I scream at our television yeah. set in our in our kitchen here most every night. And my, my spouse is getting a little tired of it. Yeah, but you scream a lot of things for we See, I watch movies. Especially you just scream stuff. There are aerosols coming out, and she, she doesn't <laughs> want to be anywhere near aerosols. <laughs> well, let's let's end on a happy note. Okay. Uh, I listen to a lot of classical music on my Sonos, as you know. Yes. And my memory is as bad as yours for names. Yours is bad. You've got a bad memory. No, I have a visual it's, memory. I, uh, names well, I just too. escape me. I, I, I can remember, I could drive you to the street corner on my hometown, you know, where I, where I found my first cigarette butt. I could do that tomorrow morning. But mm -hmm. uh, the name of the street or the highways to get there, I had no clue. You, well, you, you haven't forgotten Don Brinston in 40 years. I haven't, no. But what I try to do on, upon listening to it, because I'm not in front of the screen, and of course, on the screen, on the, not on the Sonos speaker, it puts up the name of the composer. So yes. I listen to the music, which I have listened to for years. I'm a big classical music, and I try to name the composer. It's fun. Really? And yeah. how far have you gotten so far? Nowhere. Nah, nowhere. No. Yeah. Yeah. Bach, uh, uh, Copeland, uh, yeah. Murray Westgate. Uh, Don Knotts. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like the the uh, the scene in Mash years ago. Was it Radar? He was asking uh, some. He was getting advice on how how to impress women or something like that. And he was wearing an ascot. And uh, was it Hawkeye telling him you you, have, you know the line is ah oh, Bach or something or Bach yeah. or, or Brahms. And the girl who falls for him is Mary Kay Place. That's right. Wonderful actress, writer. Right, Very too. funny. She really yeah. goes for him. He starts reading poetry yes. to her. And yeah. she's eating chocolate and she makes a dive for him. Yeah. <laughs> he says, I think I've just been slaked. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. See all of this practice you're getting and you won't be able to go to a party for two years. <laughs> won't be able to impress anybody. Your wife doesn't speak to you. So you're just going to have to do it on your own in your room. I went sad. to school with a guy named Murray Bach. Yeah, <laughs> short kid, pimples. Yeah. Okay. I demand. Always a pleasure. Take I'm care. Gonna...